so starting with the sensors, this is an MQ-135 uh, hazardous uh, gas detector sensor. Um, we've got this 3-in-1 weather station, uh, rain, wind speed, and direction. This is only about, this is about 80-90 bucks, um, and they're meant to be hacked. You can um, attach them to just about anything. This little sensor was only like two or three dollars. They have other sensors out there. And then the hardware. We start with the start with the NXP ARM-based microcontroller. And then this is the AveNet uh, cellular shield. It, it snaps right on there. It's got a SIM card on it. And then all of our hardware is coming into this uh, prototyping shield for the proof of concept here. Other parts include a cellular antenna. Um, these are actually uh, two six volt uh, solar panels, but uh, a handy tip is solar panels can add just like batteries. So add two six volt solar panels and we can charge a 12 volt battery. Uh, the solar charger is essential. It, uh, the solar panel can put out, you know, 17 volts. And to charge a 12 volt battery properly, you definitely have to have a controller. So there's solar battery, and then the load disconnect is very valuable too. So if the battery drops below a certain level, it disconnects your equipment and keeps it from uh, getting destroyed. And then to convert uh, 12 volts to 5 volts, I just used a 12 to 5 auto uh, converter and uh, power up the board that way. So you can get an enclosure based on your needs. This is NEMA 4. Um, you really aren't supposed to drill holes in it if you want it to be uh, waterproof, completely waterproof. This is called slotted strut. You can get this at any electrical uh, parts store. Great for uh, building things with. So you can get these. These are normally called spring nuts. Go ahead and stick it in there and give it a little turn. And there you've got a nice nut there that you can bolt things onto. That's how this stuff's all uh, all put together. And then for mounting pipes, these are called strut straps. You've got different types. You can see that I, uh, I, I didn't have the proper pipe bender, so I bent this around the hitch of my uh, truck. So not the right way to do it but uh, it got me up and going. 